The major problem with iTunes is that you have several different computers with individual music libraries. The way to solve this is with D-Link's DNS-323 with iTunes server enabled. If you haven't already, watch our other video, Getting Started with the DNS-323. But before you begin, be sure to have the most up-to-date version of iTunes. First, we're going to copy our music library to the DNS-323. We do this by going to the Music folder and selecting all of the music. You can easily do this by pressing Ctrl A and then dragging the folders to the DNS-323 under the Network folder. We are putting our music into the main folder, Volume 1, but you can put them anywhere. Just to remember where you put them. After the files have finished copying over, we need to configure the DNS-323 to enable the iTunes server. First, log into the DNS-323 web user interface with your username and password. First, click on the Advanced tab and then iTunes server on the left navigation. Select Enable and since we dropped our music into the main folder on the DNS-323, we'll leave it at the root folder. Be sure to save the settings, and then after a few seconds, the DNS-323 will refresh, and then click on Finished. You can now log out of the DNS-323 web user interface. Now, we can open up iTunes and you'll see the shared library from the DNS-323 in the left sidebar of iTunes. Click on the shared library to view or listen to your music over your home network from the DNS-323. And that's it.